Hello, this is the second of two videos about our St James Church gift day for 2020, which is on Sunday, the 26th of July, just in a few days time. In the other video, we explain how we want to give thanks and praise to God for the life of St James and a number of ways to do that, which are all in this leaflet, which we're putting through the door, hopefully of every church member of St James over the next few days. And if you don't get one of these, um, uh, by say the 20th, 20th of July, please do let us know, we'll try and get one to you. The other thing that the Give Day about, as well as giving thanks, is to give our gifts to God. Uh, we traditionally use the Give Day to raise money for a special project, whether it's the reordering of the church a few years ago, or for youth work or children's work in the parish, um, or for um, just special works to the church. This year, uh, we're doing things a bit differently because the project is actually helping St James to get through the next 12 months. Since the lockdown, we have lost about £6,000 of income. There have been no hall rental, there's been no fundraising events, and there have been no cash and envelope collections on a Sunday. And the net effect of that has been pretty severe on our church income. Our spending has gone down slightly as well, but the effect is actually fairly dramatic. Uh, we estimate that over the course of a year, we will lose £20,000 of, of income if things continue as they are. We've been blessed in the last six months by a substantial legacy uh, from a faithful member of this church and a substantial donation. It is those two things that are keeping us afloat at the moment. But as things stand, by this time next year, we will have run out of money completely. So James doesn't have huge reserves. We're dependent very much on the income of the fundraising and fees and hall hire, but also principally on the regular dedicated sacrificial giving of our church members. And we're tremendously grateful for all the folk who do that. So the gift day is about helping St. James to get through this unprecedented time, this challenging time, so that we can be standing on our own two feet financially and we can weather this storm. So there are a couple of things I'd like to invite you to do. The first thing that is if is that if you're a regular giver, but by putting cash in the collection plate or through an envelope, please consider changing to giving through the bank. Because all of that income so far has been lost to us over the last three or four months. And if, you can, if you're able to give by standing order rather than by cash or envelopes, then that enables us to be confident that that money is coming in and enables us to plan. With this leaflet, you should get a standing order form which you can fill in uh, if you'd like to. There's also a gift aid form so that if you're a UK taxpayer, we can reclaim another 25% on top of whatever you give us. Uh, and that also is a massive help to the church. So if you're a regular giver uh, through cash or envelopes, please consider becoming a giver through, through the bank instead, and that will be a massive help to us. The other thing we'd love you to do is that if you're able uh, to bring a special gift we want to say thank you to God for this church and one of the ways Christians and God's people have traditionally done all the way down the centuries is by offering something of our treasure back to the Lord. We know that for some people lockdown has been tremendously financially difficult. People have lost their jobs, people have lost income, people have been in financial hardship. We also know that for others there have been savings during lockdown, uh, spending on some of the things that we might have done going out to the cinema, having a meal, having a coffee over the road at Palmer's Garden Centre. None of those things have been possible and some people have probably been quite surprised at how much money they saved as a result. But whatever your financial circumstances, we'd love you, if you could, to please pray about giving a special gift to St James at this time as part of our celebrations of our 600th birthday. We've set a target for the gift day of £15,000. That target means that if we, uh, if we achieve it, we will be able, even in 12 months' time, to have enough reserves to confidently run the church, to pay our staff, to pay our bills, to pay our insurance, and to keep going with all the great ministry that's going on at St James. A few weeks ago, our sister church, St Peter's, had a gift day uh, to raise £10,000 for some works within the church. St Peter's is substantially smaller than St James, but we were stunned to discover that the gift day had raised £12,000 in the end. So we believe in a God who's got big pockets and a big heart, and, uh, and we believe that God is able to supply everything that we need. And those big donations that I spoke about 
have done just that over the last few months, just as we've needed it. So please pray about our gift day. Please give if you can. And whether you want to bring a gift in person or whether you want to bring, uh, bring your prayers and the other things that we've asked about, please come in person on the gift day to join in those celebrations. There'll be people here between two o'clock and four o'clock on the afternoon of Sunday the 26th of July um, who'll be able to receive anything that you want to bring. Also, if you've been setting aside Sunday giving at home, uh, waiting for the chance to bring it to the church, bring that along as well. Um, we would love to uh, receive that uh, and we'll store it safely and make sure it's well used. Uh, but if you can, if you'd like to, please bring your gifts to the church on the 26th of July. If you don't feel uh, you're able to, then post them to us or let us know and we can send somebody around to your house to collect them as well. Uh, if you want to know any more about how we're doing financially and want to get into any more details, uh, we'd be very happy to share that with you. Do get in touch with myself or with Rob, our treasurer, uh, and we'd be happy to give you more details about what's going on. Uh, and we'd like to thank you. Thank you for praying for St. James. Thank you for being part of St. James. Thank you for all that you do, all that you give in terms of money, time, energy, skill, love and enthusiasm. Thank you for all of the gifts that you give to God through his church. Uh, and let's pray that God is glorified by all that we are able to give him on our gift day this year. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.